Hello guys, today I would like to introduce you PKM Soviet light machine gun in 762x54R and share a little bit of experience with it. So it's kind of unusual these days for me to get issued a machine gun but for this mission I got an PKM. In this configuration I basically got it issued and in few hours left for the tasks. So there is a lot of features that I would not do the way how are the, how they are on this gun but we will go through all of them so first of all the caliber of the gun 762x54R fantastic cartridge we can see like here tracer with this dark green tip then we have silver tip full metal jacket and then we have armor piercing incendiary which are black tip with a red line right behind it. So the setup of this machine gun is for reconnaissance. So we have a suppressor which I generally don't like to use on PKMs because you must be really careful to don't get buffer strikes so it will it mean two round bursts only. But I didn't get the flash hydra for it so I m must do all the walking in this long suppressor configuration. When we go back we see sling. It's common for PKMs to have it made just, just out of thick belts, like in this case. It's just two, two belts uh, intertwined between each other, so we have very solid rigid platform for carrying it. Then we have locally produced Ukrainian scope mount, which is fantastic. Some of the aftermarket scope mounts, they use screw to be screwed on and after you have no, no spring tension in your top cover and the whole system become very, very rough, it's very hard to unfold it and fold it back but here we, the spring loading system, spring loaded system still works so we can slap the top cover on place no problem. Then we have a Leopold scope, scope 2.5 power till 8 power with illuminated, illuminated reticle so it's kind of a hunting, hunting scope but it kind of works on this gun especially for the kind of work we're doing now so we're going from, from front we see the suppressor it's very important to fit it properly so, this, so basically create here a detent or take a material out so the suppressor sits perfectly in this case I still have a little bit of work to do so to seat it well because you, you get it issued and it's not seated well so this is something you need to do in field. Okay here we have our gas block with very important feature. You take your cartridge and you can regulate it. It's three position gas block, gas regulator. In the Soviet doctrine it was supposed to be more of a feature like uh, from 0 to 8000 it would be on position 1, from like 8000 to 12 on position 2 and basically during the lifespan of the machine gun you would be opening the gas port. But of course when the gun is dirty you can use it as well. I usually run all my PKMs if they are newer on number 2 just to be sure. You just apply a little bit of tension turn it like so, there is not very positive index but it works. So yes, as a machine gunner you always have one or two loose cartridges on your vest just for this purpose. So you can move the regulator if necessary. So we have carry handle, we have top cover. Now this PKM it's not a Soviet one, it's Warsaw Pact one. So it has some extra features compared to the most standard plane PK or PKM. We opening the dust cover, the cover, the top cover like so, it pops up. Here we have a feed tray. Here we have a side rail for Soviet optic, for night visions, etc. But if you have the night vision on, you can't pop the top cover. That's why you have this level. You press and you can fold the entire optic on side. Pop your top cover up, then slap it back on place and put the optic back on place as well in case you decide to use optic that is placed on this side rail. 
Now the feeding mechanism, which is extremely interesting, since it's pull, uh, since it's a, it's a remote cartridge, you need to pull it out of the link, not pull it through the link. So this is a great feature on PKM because it doesn't matter if you orient your link brass up or brass down. Brass down is like so. It will works in both ways, so that's an amazing feature. Just be careful when you charge this gun. Let me do it. You place it. You charge it. I will just put my safety on. Hop. And you pop the top cover. You will find that the bullet were pulled out of the link into the feeding mechanism and is like in between pos in between position on the feeder. This is no issue to carry gun like this, but you must carry it always barrel down. If you carry it barrel up, what might happen is that the cartridge fall down of the from the tray, something like this, and it block the entire gun. So the best way how to carry PKM in general is to have safety off completely and the bolt in forward position in case you get contact you just charge the gun and you are ready to fire. Now the barrel changing feature. So we pop the top cover. We pop the feed tray as well. And here we have this horizontally moving piece. You can move it horizontally and you can use the tip of the cartridge for it or the rim of the cartridge. Rim of the cartridge, hop. Now every handle on PKM acts also like a kind of a level. If the gun is very dirty and the barrel is stuck, you press it like so. You can see and it separates the barrel from the gun. Like so. You can take your spare barrel, pop it in and continue firing. This is a good place to start talking about this assembly of the gun, so you remove your barrel. After that you can remove your spring, like so, long spring, then you pop the bolt back, lift it up, pull it out. Now when you take a look at the bolt, it's basically upside down AK, AK would be like this, the Kalashnikov machine gun have it like this. So we can see piston, bolt carrier bolt, it's like beefy AK bolt, we pull it out. Only be careful, in the basic kit of the shooter there is also spare firing pin, so to remove the firing pin it's very easy, very fast process, It's there is no safety system on it, like no uh, horizontal pin, stuff like this, so it can fall down if you are not uh, careful about it. So this is pretty much complete disassembly of the PKM. We can do one little extra step. We can press on here, press press down. We just press down on this plate and we can remove this part too. This is basically the channel for your gas piston, your gas tube. To assemble it back. We just press it again. We pop our top cover, pop our feed tray. So we return bolt to the bolt, bolt carrier. Drop it down in those cutouts. Press the trigger into forward position, return the spring,
right there on the barrel. Okay, we are ready to go. Pop down the feed, the feed tray. Place the rim of the bullet into this pull-out system. Up. Pop down the feed tray. Safety off in this configuration, you are ready to go for the mission. I really like the system of carrying the 100, 100 round box under the gun, but I wasn't issued for this mission, so you just take a 50 round belt, wrap it around the carry handle like so, just so you can carry it comfortably, and you are ready to go for your recon. Overall, I prefer PKM over any other light machine gun on the market, including FN Mag, for example. It's just in the right configuration, it's more maneuverable. But biggest problem are the belts. Because all the NATO link ammo come uh, already linked in the boxes, but here you must assemble the belts yourself, which give you a little bit more freedom in choosing uh, what type of bullets you want. But also this belt usually is in one piece, so it means you, you have 100 or 250 round belts which are basically endless. Yeah? You shoot 70 bullets and you still drag the be belt behind you, then you try to wrap it around the barrel and it becomes one big mess. But there is plastic ammo links, which were created in like 2016. I were never issued those, but I was told by other machine gunners that it re they really work well. And also you can get the stuff from the early 2000s, which are these belts that disintegrates after 25 bullets. Yeah? So shoot off 25 bullets, the piece of link fall out and you can continue fighting without dra dragging all the foliage. So these are actually my favorite, have 25 round links that separate during firing. So that's the way to go in my opinion. Thank you very much guys for watching and see you in the next video.